Hello everyone. Sorry for that delayed intro, but that's there's the, there's here's an intro now. Um Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome back to Lucid 9. Without any further ado, let's get right back to where we left off last time. Ranky. I'm dying inside, so mm, there you go. A bait? Was it really just a bait? Or is it that also a bait? A lie to make me feel better, even though she actually knows. Too many mind games. Clearly I'm not cut out for this. Wait, what did I just accept? Was she serious? Am I actually her errand boy? What did I just get myself into? <sighs> Shit, it's Popo. Did you seriously follow me home? Huh? Why would we do that? We already know where you live, man. Oh, hey. I know those voices. Fuck. Why? <laughs> fucking redhead and fucking blondie. The Adventures of Blondie and Redhead. There you go. It's a new sitcom. Thankfully, it's not Shigure at the door. It's Masato and Yahiko, who are currently the proud bearers of two giant plastic bags stamped with the GFC logo. Huh. I was expecting them. Although, technically speaking, it was polite of them to knock even though they know my key code. Sup, man? Delivery has arrived! I didn't order anything. Yahiko only points at my phone. Oh. Nice. Whoa, that's really nice. Oh, we can scroll up too! Oh, this is really cool. Dude, where are you? Masato, Masato says you're not at track. Dude, where? You're missing out big time. Or should I say, or are missing out big time. My club is so good, good, good. It's the best. Six members, woot! We gonna grow so fast the roof will explode. Okay, we done, where are you? We're, we're gonna get K GFC. Crispy original. Hello, are you? Are you dead? Okay, crispy it is. Masoto won the Hot Wings contest. He wanted a rematch. I don't think he's satisfied though. Said paper cups aren't good rivals. Dude, what's up? No, I'm not hyper. Ignore. No, I'm not hyper. Ignore Rui. No, I didn't have three large sodas. Ignore Rui. Ignore Rui! Dude, I'm being so awesome right now. Come see. Okay, Sears, where are you? Or where are you? But BT dubs, I was figuring out moon stuff. I guess they can't get AC there, so maybe it won't be a thing. I don't know. I IDK, would you go to the moon without AC? Is summer hot on the moon? Oh, they said also I couldn't breathe. That's okay though. I can hold my breath super long. We're coming to your place. What the fuck? <laughs> Yahiko, Jay Graves is my role model. You hashtag USA for the win, thirteen thirty-seven. Uh, don't know who Jay Graves is. God damn, that was long. Technically, I should apologize for being so unresponsive, but all I can really, but all I can feel is incredulity. Thirty-three messages. Yahiko only shrugs. You weren't responding. What's a What's a thoughtful, selfless person to do? Not invade my house without warning, probably. I gave you plenty of warning. It doesn't count if I don't see it. You're blind? Classic Yahiko. Might as well have some fun. What, you didn't know? You mean all this time you've been running blind? 
Well, not exactly. I have antennae growing out of my feet, so I can tell where I'm going. Whoa! Is your mom a spider or something? Spiders don't even have antennae growing out of their feet. She has a mutant gene. See your full, your full family like that? Y'all aliens? They really need to work on their gullibility. No, I had a sister. Had? She flew away. So she has a bird gene? This conversation is rapidly steering into the deep end. I decided to change topic. <laughs> are you guys... <laughs> are you guys gonna come in or are you just gonna stand there? We're coming in. You can't eat chicken alone! That should have sounded cheesy, but I can't stop myself from grinning as they march into the house, slip off their shoes, and throw themselves on the sofa. Oh, how nice! Oh, <gasps> that's us! Oh, wow! This is the first time I actually get to see what we look like! And let me just say... I smash... Into a fucking wall! No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 I give us a 10 out of 10. Pretty, pretty hot. You got that. Oh, hey, it's the Powerpuff Girls, but different. You got, you got Blossom, which is redhead. You got Bubbles, which is fucking blondie. And you got Buttercup, which is us. Wow. Wow. It's the Rowdy Rough <gasps> It's not the Powerpuff Girls. It's the Rowdy Rough Boys. It's the Rowdy Rough Boys. Ooh! Although his eyes are yellow and our eyes are not they're they're yellow and not green, but you know, I'll take what I can what I what I can get. But holy shit, we're hot. I we're hot. Oh, and I also see that we're not wearing a tie either, so hmm. Nice. I'm just gonna admire this boy for a few minutes. Actually, I'm gonna save her like right here. So I can always look at it and be like, oh, that's us. All right. Anyway, stop it. let's stop with the admiration. Let's get right back to the game. <laughs> Masato pulls several large containers out of the GFC bags and caps them. The heavenly aroma of fried chicken drifts through my apartment. Let's see, we got ourselves classic drumsticks, them spicy wings, and potatoes and corn for sides. He raised an eyebrow at me. I fervently shake my head. No more contests. I reach further into the bag and threatening to shake a packet of hot sauce. Surprisingly, Masato's face pales. Uh, okay. He begins to gingerly bite into his chicken, as if it'll explode at any moment. <sighs> yeah, Hiko reaches for the original drumsticks, looking strangely, strangely thoughtful. It feels unsettling. A quiet Yahiko is a dangerous Yahiko. So, career day. Yahiko's eyes turn to me and he smiles easily. Masato looks up from his chicken. Did you get info on modeling? I don't make it a habit to get details on Yahiko's activities, but I shouldn't be poor company either, or might they, or they might leave. Surprisingly, Yahiko only stares blankly at me. Modeling? Is he really dumb enough to forget his own dream? Modeling? Oh! Oh! That modeling! Uh, yeah. I went and talked with that company. The, uh, Cloud one? What was it called? You mean Lotus? Yeah, yeah, Lotus. Lotus is a type of flower, not a type of cloud. They said they couldn't- they, they said they'd keep in contact. They did? Well, of course! As if anyone could reject this perfect body! I want to gag, but honestly, it's not like yeah, he goes overweight, nor is he deathly skinny. He actually takes pretty good care of himself. He might actually be an honest-to-goodness model. I, su I repress a shudder and quickly switch to Masato. What'd you do? Masato sits up a bit straighter, his eyes blazing with passion. Passion. 
Lived into studying in America. What, you, wait, you what? What? They had a booth for it. Princeton, Yale, Harvard, all them big guns. And Ivy League? Not only does Masoto want to study in America, he wants to attend an Ivy League? Well, honestly, I suppose it's not that unattainable. Despite all outer appearances, Masoto actually has the highest grades in our year, save for Elizabeth. He studies like crazy, runs like crazy, and is also disciplined in his health regimen, besides his diet. He just does everything with gusto. In fact, sometimes I wonder why we're still friends. Usually people who try overly hard annoy me. Like Elizabeth. But Masato, maybe it's because he's clueless 99% of the time, but I can't find it in, my, in me to be annoyed at him. So, Ivy League. That ain't that right. I'm gonna smoke everyone else. I thought you were going for the Olympics or something. Hell not. Nah, ain't my thing. It does make me curious. Why would he be so passionate about track if he wasn't planning on pursuing it as a career? I guess it'll definitely help him get into an Ivy. I guess it'll definitely help him get into an Ivy League. That was nice. We look hot. Yama, Yama, Yama looks hot. Huh? Yahiko is peering into GFC GFC buckets, which are into the GFC buckets, which are suddenly empty. So gone. Except one. Slowly, dramatically, he reaches into the bucket and raises a single chicken leg into the air. Oh, thanks, man. He sticks out his hands expertly, but Masato only shakes his head, a dangerous gleam in his eye. You gotta fight to win in life, man! He reverentially hoists the chicken leg upward, like a certain baboon did to a certain lion cub in a certain copyrighted movie. Oh! <laughs> uh oh. We gotta play a game for it! How about a little something from my childhood? Yaniko's face white twitches in trepidation. Uh, I don't know, dude. You pansing out on me? Uh, of course not. Good. Here's how it's gonna work. The game is called Survivor's Arena. Rules! There ain't none! Except don't kill no one, lest you wanna go to jail. Times like these, I really will have to wonder. Just what was Mas Masato's childhood like? The goal is this here piece of chicken. We gotta fight fair, so we gonna stand equidistant from the chicken. It's so strange to hear him say things like equidistant, even if he is technically a model student. Me here, you there, ya you there, Yama there. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 leave me out of this. I'm fine without the chicken. It ain't about no destination, man. It's about the journey. That actually makes kind of sense. Regardless, I'm not so crazy about the fried chicken that I'll fight over it. I'll pass. You're ditching me? Yeah, ain't no competition without proper enemy. You have Yahiko. Can't race against Masato alone. And he ain't been my arch rival for eight reincarnations. Eight what? Do I even want to know? I let an exaggerated sigh and pull myself up. Fine, why not? Awesome, you ready? Masato tenderly places the chicken leg inside the bucket. His actions seem more appropriate for placing an innocent child into its crib and not the meat of an animal we're about to fight over like starving cavemen. <clears throat> He then measures the proper distance so that he is also equidistant from the mu from the chicken. Masato is nothing if not fair about his contests. Once all of the these procedures are properly taken care of, he bends his knees and leans close to the ground as if the chicken leg has transformed to a golden trophy. Sorry, I'm moving a little bit around. I gotta get comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, two, one, start! 
The room explodes into action as he soars towards the chicken, hand outstretched. Woo! Nice. Yeah, he goes, shovels him aside. They tumble to the ground, rolling over and over like a pair of tumbleweeds. Well, that was easy. I reach towards the chicken. But Mazato yanks at my ankle! Get back here! I crash towards the ground, barely catching myself before my chin slams against the tile floor. Can we have played a different childhood game, like hopscotch? Ha! Hopscotch, hopscotch for babies! Taking advantage of Masato's distraction, Tahiko squirms out of his grasp and claws his way to the chicken! Whoa! That was a little up-close shot of his crotch. Holy shit. Before I realize what I'm doing, my hand shoots out and I've gripped him around the weight. Gripped him around his waist. Masato sees his opportunity and releases me. Dashing me to dashing towards the chicken! Oh, wow. In uncanny synchronization, Yahiko and I leap to our feet and tackle him to the ground. His lands lurched forward to catch himself, but our combined weight is too much. His face crashes against the tile with a sickening crunch. Uh-oh. I step off and kick Yahiko in the side. He rolls off of Masato. Uh, you okay, dude? Masato manages to pull himself up, but a thin trail of blood is trickling from his nose. Ugh. He just toward me. Y Yama. He, he can't be dying. He's Masato! I'd have, it'd have to wait, take way more than a simple fall on the kitchen floor to get rid of him. But then again, it's a common method of death in books. One high-impact blow to the nose and it slants out forever. Could it be true? Come, come closer. Masato squirms on the across the floor, drips of blood smearing on his shirt. What is it? Huh? Got the chicken. What? <laughs> this is wonderful. He triumphantly raises the offending piece of poultry in the air, waggling it in front of my face. Oh, there's a chicken in the book! Bait and switch! Then he clamps a hand to his nose, a queasy look crossing his face. Oh, by nothing, by nothing aideth feeling though good. Oh, oh, by nothing, by nothing aideth feeling though good. Yeah, he goes silently, hands him a fistful of napkins, which Masato gratefully accepts. We should probably get back to the dorm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thorbith. Oh, Thorbith sounded real nice. Dorm is sounding real nice. I actually have to plug my nose to actually say that properly. He staggers to his feet. Yahiko's hand is dripping. He's gripping his arm to help him balance. What alternate universe is this? Masato injured, leaning against Yahiko, who seems legitimately, concer legitimately concerned. I watch my mouth si I watch my mouth slightly agape as Yahiko supports the limping Masato out of the out the door. Did he twist his ankle too? See you tomorrow, dude. He gives a cheery wave and shuts the door behind him. I'm left cleaning up the mess they left behind. Masato didn't end up taking his prize, so I decided to chew the chicken leg. Hmm. Nothing like rats and car carcinogens to get me through the night. When the leg is all but gnawed through, I toss it in the bucking, get my kick my feet on the edge of the sofa, closing my eyes. The apartment falls into a peaceful silence. I enjoy it. I really, really, I do. The empty space, the room for my thoughts, the gentle weight of my own presence and nothing more. But I'd be lying if I said that I didn't appreciate their company. Masato might consist constantly be dragging me into competitions, and Yahiko might be constantly t by be telling me that things I couldn't care less about, but they're good guys. They spice life up, make it fun, turn it from a B-chick flick into an A-rated film. More than anything, they're constant. 
I've technically only known them for one or two years, but it's felt much longer than that. They've always been around to chill out, study, liven it up, anything, really. Even Masato, with his terrifyingly crazy schedule. They're good people, even if a little odd. Okay, now I have really have to get something done. Something at least minorly productive. Government. <laughs> Last time we did government. Oh, so let's do st let's. But study is boring. Studying is boring. Study studying is boring. Um. I could either study or government room. I'm gonna do government room. I don't care. Why not? It's not like there's anything better to do. Well, guys, I'm gonna end up here. We're gonna pick up with government room next time. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this episode of Lucid9, leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell. And. Remember, die safely. Bye-bye!